Hello, it's Davina from Cotton Confetti. This is my um, May challenge journal. Um, it was May Mayhem with Dear Julie Julie. And before I show you the journal, I'll just explain a few things about how we did it. We were given a list of 22 items to make. And they had to be decorated with 25 different things. And we had to put three on each, three embellishments on each thing that we made. So the way we did it was we started off with, we wrote the items we had to make on here. And we had to write the items we were going to decorate them with on another sheet of paper. So what we would do was we would pick out an item to make. So masterboard and we would then pick up three things to decorate it with and the three things we have here are a game piece and some stamping and the fussy cut image so that's how we'd actually do everything that we've made so it was a bit of a bit of bit of mayhem and um, we kept the clusters out because we had to make the clusters first so that we could decorate other things with them. Um, now I've finished this challenge, the cat can get her cat dishes back. We also had to use uh, some book pages. So the book pages I used were from this 1979 town plan book. And I used the pages from London. Um, I guess it's kind of out of date now. So I haven't actually used it in quite a few years. So that was a useful thing to use there. One other thing that we have to do with Dear Julie Julie is um, we have to use strips of paper. That was one of the embellishments. My friend had shown me how to do this with washi tape, making a master board with washi tape and covering it all up. So I did, I quite enjoyed doing that. I did a few and then I thought, oh, I'll do some, I'll use my London washi tape. And then I thought, well, why don't I? Instead of using that for a master board, because that wasn't one of the items we had to do, was why don't I use it for making the paper strips? So I, I did that and I photocopied it and cut, cut out the paper strips. And you'll see the paper strips where I've used them. So let's have a look at my book. Um, we could do any cover we like because I've actually used a vintage game box. Two signatures. On the back is a piece of my master board and I've attached it with some elastic and a button. And this was one of the um, signature ties. And this on the front was one of the clusters. Let's have a look inside. There's a tag here. Let's make four large tags. And there's one of the clusters on, on here. I found some paper that this was free paper that I had I've had for a while. Might have even been my mother's. Um, so at least I can use that now. I bought these the other day, aren't they lovely? <laughs> This is another one of the large tags and I've added some extra, extra journaling space on the back. And I've got these bit, quite a lot of vintage stamps. I used the red and blue ones. I thought they'd fit nicely with the colour scheme. This is a decorated guest check, which has some more journaling journaling paper inside and there's a little pocket there and more journaling space in the back. Plenty of places in here for writing. This is a hidden paper clip. As you, as you can see there's no no you can't see the paper clip. This this was obviously stamping paper ruffle and messy thread. It's another our belly band with some 
and under here is some more journaling space. I found a, an old pat, pattern because um, the Queen always wears beautiful clothing. So I was going to paper piece this, but I decided it was probably easier to paint it. So I painted the, the dresses red white and blue and there's a little flip out pocket with the tag inside journaling space on the back is this oh this is one of the tags i used um the book page under the napkin and here is julie's dad's bank envelope which was in this was in the Red Roses. I've used the Red Roses, lovely Red Roses kit. And here we have a, there's a pocket here with a large journal, journaling card there. And I've made a little, a little notebook here with a pocket here. I think we, we had to add two, two tags or two cards, inserts I think we had to put in this for their um, journaling on, that pops in that page pocket there. This is another of the signature ties, another hidden journal, hidden, hidden paper clip and here we have another large tag with some little a mock envelope on which opens out to be more journaling space. This is our double, no, it's our, I don't know, but it's got, you have to have three, three inserts. <laughs> and I've made two ATCs to go here. And I've used, this is my 2nd of June 1953 stamp, which was from the original coronation. There's another book page there of London. And in here, I've used an envelope to make all this. In here is a another insert which has a has a little notebook. And that slots in there. And I've used strips of paper to decorate this and some more vintage stamps. Oh, and I put this on the back of the pattern. This is a uh, border tuck and I've added extra, extra journaling space in there. Another of the freebie papers. This is a fabric flip and under here is a fabric tuck with, there's an insert here which is a little, little notebook and there's a little tiny pocket here with a little little card in. This is a, a paper clip with this is a paper clip with two inserts and I've made a banner shaped paper clip and decorated it with one of the clusters, some ribbon and on these we have a paper ruffle. And on the back here, I've got another little fold out the journaling space. And this is this folds out to be more journaling space. And in here's another, the, another guest check. I think there were two guest checks all together. And this, this opens out to be more more journaling space here and that pops in that little pocket there's a bit of stamping on the back and the second signature here is oh this was my um well, let's do interesting an interesting fastening so this is how if i slide these this is a game piece from monopoly and this is a ticket from 
last time I went to London and that holds this close and in here there is a, another journaling card in there and here is a, a waterfall a waterfall notebook and that closes up and these slot inside and that slots in there Another piece of journaling space and here is a large file card. This had to be decorated with metal. I found some metal crowns. They were rather suitable. And this is oh look, there's a hidden hidden pocket in here with a little tag for journaling on. And inside this is a flip. Julie's favourite, well it's my favourite of Julie's makes, it's a flip-flop and I think that should be in the middle of that. This was a, I had to put a quote on this, it's a quote by Elizabeth II. Another, these, um, I'm using these little hidden paper clips as uh, tabs for the for the journal and here is more game pieces I've used these to make a waterfall journaling spot and there's another cluster this is a mm, oh, I think it's a it might be a, um, I can't remember, I think it's a book page pockets with two inserts and there's an insert here behind it on a playing card. Playing cards might have been something we had to use for it. can't remember now what everything was and this is, there's another insert in there and that just slots in there. On oh, this this um, this piece of plastic was from a magazine I bought recently which had some Jubilee stamps in and this is a picture from the National Archive of the Queen's Procession route in 1953 um, and there's the other With a, one of these, which are, which actually had had to have a quote and some fabric and a sticker, so I had to find a quote. I had quite a few quotes that were from Queen Elizabeth, but they weren't long enough, so I just had to find some. Or rather, they were too they were too long, so I had to find something a bit shorter. Here we have a picture of the Queen who was in the TV guide the other day, and there's another flip out pocket with journaling space this is a top tuck with an insert there's the insert there but there's also also this is an insert too it just slides in there There's the other file, file card and I've stuck two of Dear Julie Julie's digitals together to make a large page pocket. This is a one of Julie's postcards and I've got a good pocket on there. But actually, if you pull this open, there's a hidden journaling space inside. So you can write all your secrets in there. And this is... Ah, oh, this is a flip-up, flip-down element. And I think we have to have a pocket behind it. 
there's a little tuck spot here and I've put a little little map of London in in case you get lost and there's a little pocket here with a tag in and then behind there is another put open out journaling space there And then here's the last large tag with a little pocket and some more journaling space in there. More, some of the leftover paper strips. And that is on a pocket made from the... The pocket is made from the master board and it's a goodbye from the Queen. So that is my... It is my project for May Mayhem 2022 by Dear Julie Julie. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.